Hey you guys, this is Tom with the Capital Z. Welcome to the series known as Hellcraft Weekly Cast. This is going to be a 2 on 2. So, introducing the first player as Ash, and his partner would be Sanzar, and in the opposite team would be Holy and Farnam. So, I'm gonna be calling this as Team Blue and this as Team Red. So, don't get very much confused. The team color is on. I like color mode thing. As you can see, no referees are here for all that other stuff. Anyways, and you can see Ash dropping that ancient war near this orange camp, while the other Nidal player, his ally, dropping his at this orange camp as well. Yeah, well, this is the merchant over here, while the orc player going for standard orc, dropping his bed quite further away from the base, and the undead player, Holy, going for the crypt order. Yes, the crypt fiend order. And seems like they're having a bit chat over there. What's wrong with you, GLHF? Blah blah blah. <laughs> and right now, Holy dropping that ziggurat. Here comes a few wisps to see if Ash can just creep out this place well. And well, game nothing. Game at no point right now. And let's see the heroes. Now Sansar is making a demonitor, Ash is also making a demonitor. Holy will go for the DK probably and here comes the BM. As you can see Sansar just sent out his scout with Ash's wisp also had reached Holy's base so the Nidal team Nidal if I all I can say have a good vision over the other players. Here comes the archer and Ash is going to be start creeping over here so is Sansar at his spot. Uh, if uh, the old player can really uh, really get a, a good jack over here, as this creep is very very risky to creep, especially when there's a BM around. Here comes the DH. DH is gonna be creeping out the space while the red team red has not reached anywhere at all. The fiend is coming out at the moment while the old player is now running out for the creeping. As you can see, he just reached a level. No, he did not. He did not uh, get any spells up yet. Just waiting if uh, the enemy might come for a jack. As you can see, Hash healing is ancient over using those wisp over there. That is quite crucial uh, uh, when you want to creep at this spot. And oh, there's a bit doozy over there. Sansa just lost his ancient war to the creeps because he did not pull off his wisp, it seems. Well, he probably will. Uh, I uh, just creep out to say he got two more tome of experience. That's a great item over there. Got to level two for uh, before much beforehand. And right now the BM just crept out that place and going to be marching towards the uh, our enemy. Let's see what he does. And right now the holy the undead player creeping on his green spot. The idol players are still having having the upper hand at this moment. He got a arc uh, flute of accuracy. That's a good item for Nidals, especially for Nidals. I have to say, as most of the units are ranged. Now dropping the Huntress Hall with the angel, with the second angel of war, as he just lost his first one. And here comes the undead player, and they are trying to take out a few archers, following those, following that small army of the Nidal DH, trying to harass a bit and stop the way. DH does have a portion of ma greater mana that's not very much used for it I would say but it's gonna support it a bit no he they do not have any boost speed this guy yes this guy does have a boost speed now charging toward the enemy and seems like the undead player now want to uh, take out the archers a bit more here comes the orc army orc gonna be uh, so assisting the undead over here while the Nidal will have to run and reach at this place the DH as you can see quite fast just reach over here mana burned out the DK DK at low at no mana I have to say and right now the team red will be forced to go back they're just out of the base they're not going back I think they can still pull out a good a good amount of damage over the over this player three of ages is almost ready hunters all being dropped by ash and both of the DH going back inside Ash's base. Ash does have a wisp planted over here that will give him some good vision over the spot. And well, nothing very much. Oh, wait, well, something very much is going on. The world player now trying to uh, focus down the heroes. Not very well done as it is night time and the moon well were full. 
who are not uh, not full right now and that archer just chat him and then to save itself and the old player might want to retreat back at right now as he is he does not have very much to stand against this uh, this uh, Nile army and now they might go for some mercenary kicks as the mercenary have it is at night and a few mercenaries should be available over there and right now the BM as very well he might want to TP over there that thing does have a boost of speed and this BM yes he does TP out of the game and he just wanted to pull off his guns before he could TP so that he can just TP inside with them no he does he does opt for getting those guns back to his base this just uh, this does support you sometimes as these guns you do have the vision of this until these things run back and right now three of it is ready from Sansar. Sansar at the shop gonna be probably gonna be by that portion of invulnerability with the staff of teleportation two lords being dropped by Ash and Ash where is Ash actually oh Ash is at um, the orc camp <laughs> I have to say the orc base and now try to attack that BM BM at very low hit points the DH of Ash does have a boost of speed and the staff of teleportation that's gonna be helping him a lot and Staff Teleportation was actually the thing that brought him over here. Now for the BM, BM may go down over here. He can just buy a portion of healing, but he does not have strong already. That's not a very good move by Farnam. That that D, that I have to say BM will go down most probably. And no, no, yes, one mana burn will kill it. Although it, yes, it will kill it. And there it goes under BM. And right now the Nidal still having the upper hand. Now charging inside the base, attacking the burrows. The undead player is still at his base. Where is he? Oh, here comes the undead player. Undead player are trying to trying to save his ally, trying to focus down the DH. DH at quite low hit points and forced to go back. And now here comes the other DH. Other DH is also forced to go back. And. And right now, the other uh, team red will be trying to put up some pressure over the uh, Nidals. And oh god, who the hell is that? It's Skypey. And so we have the Nidal player trying to recuperate a bit. They do have the lords ready. They're gonna be pumping out that tier 2, tier 3 army. The Dryad's coming out from Nash and. This player is might probably go for bears. Yes, he is. He will still take abolish magic and that bear adapt magic upgrade uh, both at the same time. While he comes to harass a bit of uh, uh, the undead player, the undead player trying to creep on this place with his orc ally. And here on the grunts, grunts gonna be trying to attack these huntresses. The orc player might want to need some tier two unit. He does not have any beastery. A spirit lounge or whatever yet dropped yet and here comes the Nairon Nair Ash Ash trying to do some dealt some damage to Holy Holy forced to go back to his base using the TP and while well, this org army will do the same as well I like to see where the hell is the BM I don't see the BM anywhere wait it's still yes it is still reviving at the altar he chose to revive the old fashioned way he might have gone for the uh, gone for that tavern if he wanted to do just uh, get bug Queue them both. He had queued them both, which was just wasting a lot of gold over there uh, in that time, and that is the reason he did not drop his sh uh, spirit lounge and beastery yet. And then Nidal player got a KOTG hero of grow as the second hero, while the while Sansa the other Nidal player got the panda. That's gonna do a good combo over there. The KOTG's entangled root uh, does some it uh, proves quite crucial at many points. And right now, this player, yes, he is going to put some pressure over the old player. Old player, at as a few mass number of grunts, he might go for surround over there. Yes, he is going for surround, but surround did not work out very well. He does have enough army to pull out this uh, attack over here, over this small animal army. But here comes Ash. Ash tried to save this uh, his ally, and now using the scroll of speed, trying to attack that. Uh, Druid, Druid, Druid didn't manage to escape right on time and here comes the Entangled Root Entangled Root and that just took out the BM with the mass number of spell catching over there Fire of Breath along with Entangled Root and Mana Burn while the Undead player is not opting to come back as he is creeping at this very risky spot the uh, level 3 uh, B I have to say DK and he might want to teleport to his allies base he does not have any TP though 
uh, yes he is going to charge back to his base and get one while the old player is having a hard time recuperating over here and the FPS might give some problem over here well uh, because of my PC is not that good and right now the shadow hunter <laughs> had quite low hit points it's gonna go down yes it does and so the Nidal players having a good time over the old base the undead player still not doing anything he has to TP back right now this, he has to save his ally he's not doing anything at the moment well yes he, the TP comes up TPing at the enemies have to see allies base here comes holy to the rescue let's see how much uh, successful this uh, rescue operation does become not a good move there he just sent out his feed for a free kill over there that's not very good another entangle would over the uh, DH I have to say BM not DH and right now a few a good number of attacks being landed and uh, the BM is just being entangled all the time and that does not mean good for Team Red and it, I think it's just a matter of time until Team Red has to see GG because I don't see many ways why they can actually come back until the under player might just get some surprise at from his base no nothing is in production so I guess this is fairly GG DK goes down and well now the, it's just a matter of time until it's all uh, they see GG and stuff so I guess I might just want to fast forward it from now hope you guys enjoyed this this is something that I'm going to be catching weekly uh, a game from Hellcraft some you know, might be you can call the game of the game of the week or something although I wouldn't say that this was uh, this was uh, con this was uh, like had uh, like by many players so I just thought about catching this so hope you guys enjoyed this I will be catching more of it and uh, people from Hellcraft do start posting more replays out there for uh, me to like find some good ones that has so so yeah I guess that's done it Stormy Z over and out GGWP